Hello everyone, this is Dr. Mahesh Bishinde and I welcome you to the course on communication skills, business communication. In unit number 1, lesson 1 and 2, we have discussed importance of communication, origin and definition of communication. In lesson 2, we discussed about characteristics of communication and levels of communication. Unit 1, lesson 3 deals on, deals with elements and process or cycle of communication and the objectives of this lesson number 3 are study various elements involved in communication and understand communication process cycle in detail. Elements of communication, when a communication happens, communication takes place, there involve various elements. The first one is sender or the source. That is when communication takes place, there are varieties of elements involved and each element plays different role. So, let us discuss those elements. First, sender or the source. Sender or the source has ideas or thoughts in his or her mind and he or she wants to share those ideas and those thoughts with the receiver. Receiver is the second important element in communication cycle. Now, like sender, receiver is also intending to receive the information. It intends the receiver, he or she wants to receive the information. He also, he or she, the receiver shares common communication background along with the receiver. That is, a sender and receiver, they must be from the same communication background. In other words, suppose sender is speaking in Japanese and receiver is not understanding the Japanese. So, communication will not take place. So, common, common communication background. Third, message. That is the information or the thoughts or the knowledge or emotions which sender wants to share and the receivers want to receive. Medium or channel, the channel, the way, you know, channel that is the way, which way the sender wants to convey that message, that information, those thoughts or knowledge. Whether it is verbal, it is non-verbal, with the help of words, without the help of words, symbols, signals, signs or what. That is nothing but the medium of communication. Then it is not enough that sender is there, receiver is there, message is there, medium is there, but there is no any goal. Just I come in the class and just start telling jokes. Now sender is there, receivers are there, medium is there, purpose is there to entertain. Sorry, medium is there, the language, but goal is not uh, the correct one in educational context. I am there to teach and I am there to tell you more about the educational things and not the joke. So, purpose and goal matters a lot. What I want, the sender wants to uh, do. Then feedback, response. Feedback is nothing but the response received from the receiver. And of course, all this communication should take place in a proper context, a proper environment that is relevant or appropriate situation for communication to take place. Now, all these elements, when we talk about uh, the elements of the communication, let us take this example. I am the sender, the source of information. I have some ideas, thoughts about communication skills and that ideas I am sharing with you. You as a receiver, as this course subscriber would like to know more about communication because you want to improve your communication. The message is just to inform you, to educate you. Medium I, we have chosen is oral communication with the help of some slides. Also, we have chosen the digital medium of communication to connect with each other. The purpose goal is to educate you. Feedback, you are understanding, you are responding. I hope you are meeting, making some notes and of course, you are solving the reflection spots in between. That is nothing but the feedback and the context. Yes, the entire context is educational and we are discussing about it. So, let us see how communication takes place. As I said, let me give the example. Sender, I am the sender, idea has goal, then message, then receiver, and then feedback. Now, all this takes place, look at this. Now, the sender would like to have uh, the ideas, would like to share the ideas, encoding. So, when the sender first encodes those things, let me, let me show you, uh, yeah, so, here. So, sender has the ideas who, which he or uh, she would like to share with you, but those ideas have to be converted into a particular way which is known as decoding, sorry, encoding of the ideas. So, I have some information in my mind. So, that information I will encode in a proper way so that you will understand. So, once those ideas are encoded, that becomes message and that message is sent to the receiver through a particular medium. The receivers receive that message and the receiver tries to decode that message and the feedback is given. For example, you as a sender would like to call your friend to meet 
at 5 o'clock in a copy shop. So let us say you would like to call your four of your friends. So how will you, you are the sender now here. All right, you would like to give the message. So you need to encode it properly. So which will you do? What will you do? So you have idea in your mind to call the uh, my friends for having a coffee at 5 o'clock. So you take your mobile phone, you type the message or you take and call or you may directly go and uh, talk with him door to door if your friend is living close. So that encoding of the ideas and converting them into message, choosing the medium mobile call on physical or physical and then receiver receives that they decode it and then they give the feedback either they will come for the uh, coffee or they will ask you why and so many questions will take place and then uh, you will meet together uh, uh, for a copy uh, to have a copy at one particular place. Now moving ahead all these communication all these uh, you know elements all these uh, things this cycle should take place in a proper context in a proper let us say environment which is known as communication environment. Now what do you mean by communication environment? What do you mean by uh, these context in simple terms? As I said, if I come in the class and start telling joke, it is not a proper context. You go for attending a wedding ceremony of your friend and there you are talking about the studies not the proper context. In class you are studying preparing for the examinations but one of your friends talks about going and enjoying the movie in theatre not the proper context. That is why most of the time we see some students some friends saying he or she does not understand where to talk what or when to talk what. That is every communication should take place in a proper context in the proper environment then only we can call it as a successful communication. Having understood about the cycle of communication, here is a reflection spot for you. Identify the elements of communication cycle from the given situation. The situation is Soham talks on Smart India in an elocution competition and gets first prize. So pause the video and identify all the elements from this given situation. Just pause and come up with your answers. I hope you have come up with your answers. So in the situation where Soham talks on Smart India in an elocution competition and gets the first prize, of course the sender or the source is Soham, receivers, audience or the judges, message, Smart India, he is talking about the Smart India, medium or channel, verbal, oral as it is elocution competition, purpose or the goal, inform about the topic or win the competition, feedback, he gets the first prize and context environment it is elocution competition. There is a second reflection spot for you but you have to think on this and then come back. Just pause the video and think on what are the essential things for communication to be successful or effective. When you will call a communication successful or a communication is effective, what are all the essential elements of successful communication. Just pause for a while and jot down your answers. I hope you have come up with your answers. So the essentials of successful communication are number one, a common communication environment or the context, the sender and the receiver, they should be in common communication environment. Also there should be cooperation between the sender and the receiver. There should not be sender who do not, who does not want to give the information nor the receivers who are not interested in the information. Selection of an appropriate channel or medium matters a lot. If you are wrong in choosing the channel, the communication will fail. fail. Correct ending, encoding and decoding of the message and here comes uh, the bigger problem because why communication fails most of the time because it is not properly either encoded or decoded. That is why most of the time you must have also experienced that you explain something to your brother or sister or your parents or your friends. But even after you explain them so many times, they make something different which you do not expect. So you say, Are, I did not mean this, I mean this. Why does this happen? Because either you have not encoded that properly or the receivers have not decoded that properly. Then comes receipt of the desired response or the feedback. When you will call communication as a successful, when you will get the feedback, expected feedback from the receiver, then you can call this as a successful communication.
that is the end of lesson 3. Lesson 4 will include methods of communication, very important aspect, verbal and nonverbal communication and lesson number 4 will include, we will talk on verbal communication that is oral and written communication. Thank you so much and see you in the next lesson.